the best European tea house I ever visited, located here. 60 years aged Olo. A shop and even pottery studio in the back. This is a Buddhist comics. Matcha was good. Start our kind of live research of local tea places. I, I want to look. I don't think at this one. Imperial Love. Also some tea place, but it's closed. But we need the second one. Smith and Shoop. how it will be but we will try it's actually a very good designed uh, place and uh, what I can say it's quite a good selection of teas but what's interesting for me quite special that it also they also serve food they even serve coffee uh, aromatized teas but also natural teas all together you can cho choose whatever you like uh, even milk tea and some cookies and yeah, maybe we'll also try some food even because it's lunch time what I like it's how do they present tea? Not so good for storage because it's a glass, but um, if you want to have a look, first appearance, especially for those who absolutely have no idea about what this tea is about, you can just yeah, choose something, which is actually uh, Lundin tea, but inside, I think inside something like a red tea, or, or this Lundin may be here already one year or something, I don't know. Lundin actually pretty good. A little bit of the roasted for my personal taste, but in general quite quite good. Really typical Dundee. Actually pretty rare you can find some tea like this in cafes maybe, but in Taiwan it's quite normal to have good tea. <laughs> and also they brought some bakery and this cheesecake. I really want to try because it's with Tiguanin tea. Mmm. Tiguanin cheesecake. Wow. <laughs> local rules you need to stay no more than two hours and uh, you need to spend no less than 800 uh, taibi 800 taiwanese dollars is around 30 euro maybe uh, yeah, just lowest possible but only for this room outside you can I think, cheaper but this is very scenic instagramable location we're sitting now yeah, quite actually also, I want to say that uh, food was also good. We just took some shrimps. Yeah, good place. I can really recommend. Oh, here in Italy. Some souvenirs, some tiware. Yeah, actually quite crazy pricing. This is like okay, a thousand, three hundred here or something. <laughs> a good place actually. This street called Soul Street. And downstairs they have a very beautiful garden, Tianjin in Chinese. And yeah, here more sitting space. And downstairs we have a shop, a shop and even pottery studio in the back. Beautiful tea house. So this is how the setting looks like. Real pot. Actually I think they make it here in the studio downstairs. Already prepared one brew of tea and even they fill the cup. Mm, delicious oolong. And uh, yeah, Tiguane is good. Yeah. And the is also good. And also they had some small pastry, whatever. Cookies, nuts, matcha candy. Oh, 
matcha cookie. Mm. I like the setting. Yeah, also we have small pork. Such a cozy and sweet design. <laughs> So there is something modern and something ah, something classic is closed. If something modern is open. Ah, so this is a uh, one tea lab. Polar tea, tea beer. Blending roasting brewing. Oh. Yeah. Fermentation, yeah, roasting, roasting, strength. Yes. Oh wow. Very cozy tea bar. So we actually choose some tea beer and sparkling tea just to have something special for the day. And uh, also cake from Tigwani. Very good uh, design. Find a beer made from this tea. Chichu Room from Lanshan. And the beer and sparkling tea. And Tigwani cake. And tea lab. So we are now uh, restaurant critics for the day. Actually the tea, what was we took take away? Uh, yeah. I don't think it's good actually I don't like it so much maybe yeah just, I don't know, my personal kind of experience but what does it mean it means don't trust the appearance trust the quality now yeah already we go into the tea house number four hope we will be in time there on time and hope also there will be parking lot because parking in Taipei is really difficult yeah, but we'll try to find it. Nishu <laughs> Hongaji, bell tower. Very cozy looking from outside, actually. I really like a separate building in a garden. Wow, very cool. Hopefully, we can still in. Yeah. This is a Buddhist comics kind of the corporate body of the Buddha Educational Foundation. It's cabinet for shoes. Such a nice idea. Yeah? So I ordered uh, what I ordered. I ordered this Don Fan Jay, the real beauty. And I and Anna ordered this kind of Gunfucha set with a smell of Pochon tea. Let's have a look what it will be. Very cozy place. Actually, I want to have a look around. Wow. Very beautiful. Yeah. What I especially like in this tea house is small building inside a park. This is the best, I think. Very interesting menu. Cold beauty, some other. Uh, Typical way, kind of pot and uh, some sweets. For now, I think uh, here is the most tasty tea. It's 88 tea house. Actually, the most traditional looking. Let me try with Asmantos. Asmantos person maybe not open to taste yet, but uh, Don Farmerjan is actually really sweet. Still not top quality, but for. for yeah. Better than average tea houses so we've seen before. And this one is the most traditional look. One of the most uh, funniest way to translate guy one to uh, English cover cup. Actually, yeah, it's really easy, kind of. But maybe cup to the lid. Okay, let me cover cup. But the good thing is to have an instruction if you don't know how to brew Bunfu Cha. There is a detailed instruction how to do it in Chinese. English and Japanese and also even the video you can open this core code and look for instructions and here occasionally I found a very special tea house which is actually kind of folk tea house yeah we can karaoke singing and uh, yeah some no ceremony at all but they drink tea and coffee and here we can have karaoke and also yeah actually tea served in Gunfu way, so we drink tea outside, smoke cigarettes, inside no smoke cigarettes and sing the songs. 200 yuan and you will enjoy this experience. Uh, 
现在两个两个星期了，是一千来的好久。两个星期会讲这么、呃？不会不会不会，一千来的，一千来的，一千次来的。对对对。Very welcoming、uh, lady who is the owner of、uh, this folky house. Actually, if you want to look for it, here is the address. Yeah, if you want to sing some karaoke, and、uh, yeah, it's also a natural tea house. And she just welcomed me. I said like, okay, how is Chinese? I said yeah, it's Chinese. And yes, it's kind of cool place. I just filmed、uh, one more tea house review. It's called the Street Tea House. Actually, it's、uh, very familiar for Guizhou Province and Sichuan Province. Actually, many other places, and especially in rural China. But here, it also exists. Very cozy way. What I especially like, they have a special room that no one smoke. That's perfect because in China, mostly in such tea houses, like faulty houses, people just smoking a lot. And here is our tea house, Lu Yu Tea House. Entrance room you can see, kind of a shop. And here, yeah, I like these light blocks. And here is a menu, like a restaurant. You can see what's inside. Yeah, not so much actually. I think we have the best selection in the world compared to this. <laughs> But still, let's try. So we ordered、uh, this 80, 60 years aged、uh, oolong from Mento. Let's try. What is it? I think it's good. Actually, the selection here. Yeah, quite bigger. For our first look,、uh, I think it's not so big, but five types of HT up to even 70 years. But I ordered 60 years. Okay, let it be 60, not 70. This is water. You need to bring the water. Okay, okay. So here is the setup. Actually, it's in teapot,、uh, Japanese plate. Actually, for tin power or gun power, some a brick, two cups, Taiwanese ones. I do believe this is Chinese chai, and also yeah, some kind of Hongbao Bay. And、uh, from Yunnan, I think this sweet tea, and also yeah, for the water we don't need teapot or the gas stove, kind of not gas but actually everything yeah all water almost ready. Actually, the same pot was in the last tea house, yeah, very useful, and、uh, even some sweet nuts and fruits. Sure about 60 years, but let us check. The house owner also reached out with a offer, drink some tea, and they drink with a friend. And actually, it smells like dumpan, I think.、Uh, yeah, but、uh, Oriental beauty.、Uh, but it was、uh, actually white tea made from Oriental beauty. Which、uh, one? <laughs> Essentially, we didn't、uh, get didn't didn't get in in this house. Actually, the ladies were close up and they were ready to serve us. But upstairs, just a regular tea house. But we want downstairs with a boat of cups, boat with the cups. Actually, very beautiful scenery. But、uh, it works only on Saturdays. Saturdays. So next Saturday, we try to be here, possibly, and join this event. So now we arrived to Gaoxun City, and our goal for the day is to research local tea houses. Because we had a look some for some Tai Taipei tea houses, and we want to have a look for Gaoxun tea houses. Actually, if you look on the map and you read the name of a city, it's the southeast city of Taiwan,、uh, on the west side of Taiwan, and you will see Kaoxun. Never read it this time. This 
way because it's well Jaius transcription which is wrong literally wrong in Chinese it sounds Gaosun Gaosun first house located on this behind these doors but uh, we are unlucky today we will not be there because of this holiday today they will have a holiday it's called Wakai Art and Tea Culture Center okay next time mm. Very beautiful idea to have a kind of aroma lamp, but with tea. Great, I will definitely do that. Uh, so yeah, no, just a candle, regular aroma lamp, but inside they put some green tea, and a good smell here in the house and a uh, good selection of tea. Order some matcha, and uh, they offer to me to choose which much bowl I want to use, I want to drink from and they have good selection actually I selected one with the flowers and now the master especially wash it traditionally they are all the tiny details with a Japanese accuracy <laughs> yeah actually Kaohsiung has a very big Japanese influence because here is much more uh, Japanese tea shops than in Taipei I think because before and still till now it's a very big trade port. It was very tasty. The mochi with strawberry, actually with fresh strawberry inside. Matcha was good, really good. And uh, also all the rest. I am not a big specialist in Japanese teas, but mm, I enjoyed the service and the quality. People in Gaoshun city don't like to work, <laughs> don't like to work. So yeah, this uh, Japanese tea coffee house, Amiya, is closed. Okay, so not this time, not this time. We go to some different place. There is a, some tea house called Luxembourg. Let us have a look. Have no idea what is it, but yeah, maybe some European tea house. So we are on the place. It's called Luxembourg and it's uh, European antiques and coffee and dessert place. Don't cry bro, don't cry, it's okay. No worries, please, um, don't cry, it's okay. I'm sure here are some lovers of European antiques too. I'm not a big lover of this European style, mostly and on Asian side. And I often see that on some markets in Europe, but yeah, it's interesting to see this in the center of Gaoshun city. That's really special. Oh, and this looks like old tea cans or something. Well, actually one of the most interesting facts that we drink from the antique porcelain it's from mason and it's from 30s of 20th century so yeah and they really serve you uh, the cups and the pots uh, which more than almost 100 years old yeah, that's incredible yeah tea it might average but uh, good experience anyway even this small plate also hand painted and also from mason and also from beginning of 20th century Respect. What I want to say, for now, till now, the best European tea house I ever visited located here in Gaussian city because we have 
pretty good tea. This it's just regular uh, Indian and uh, Indian and Ceylon tea, but it's quite good. And uh, we drink from antique porcelain. We have a presence of macadamia cakes, incredible, and also the atmosphere. You see, you know, some furniture from 19th or century or even earlier, and they have really kind of European feeling around. So yeah, I can really recommend it. <laughs> if you will be in Gaussium, just visit this place. It's very, very, very good atmosphere. And also the owner is a sweet lady. Uh, very welcoming and uh, service. And this is how people throw away trash. They're just uh, waiting for the trash machine and the uh, trash car <laughs> comes and the residents just wait with the bags of the trash and throw away directly to the car, not just put some baskets or, uh, or some boxes with trash outside. And uh, garbage gar workers, they just took it. No, <laughs> they literally put it themselves <laughs> into the trash car. Cozy modern tea house, and here we choose local orchid aroma oolong and honey apple oolong. Actually, Mi Pingo, the honey apple is quite famous in Taiwan, and they have a tea which have this aroma. And also, pretty interested kind of rolling for oolong. Uh, I want to try. It looks like black tea, but for me, it's interesting. Yeah, we now have uh, our first tea. This is a uh, Honey apple mipingo olong. Actually, it tastes of black tea or honcha and also appearance as a honcha. But the aroma and smell really like apple. And they say it's natural. Quite good. Interesting. Maybe we will search for producer of this tea. Boli Bay glass cup. They have good tea actually. Uh, I tried. Uh, this uh, honey apple oolong and this uh, orchid oolong actually gabba orchid oolong and uh, cake mm. Taiwanese uh, sweets are really yeah maybe we need to bring it some somehow because one of the best sweets I ever tried is so my rating of tea houses I think this one for now is a winner in the quality of tea, taste of tea actually. Yeah. If it don't talk about Japanese one because Japanese has Japanese tea also a very good one. But uh, Chinese teas, yeah, I like this one. Really, really, really good. And this uh, honey apple olong and orchid aroma olong both are great. Actually all aroma is natural just because of fermentation, it's not aromatized tea. Yeah, and quite good sweets. Beautiful tea house, pretty simple, but tea is good. As closer the date of our departure from Taiwan, as more intense our moves here, and now we are already in Taichung City. We visited uh, our friend Saint Din village in Logu. And now we're in Taichung City, and we want to continue our research on Taiwanese tea houses and Taiwanese tea places. And now we're in Taichung and going to visit one uh, new experimental tea bar or something. Let us have a look, what is it? I mean... By the way, we decided to try uh, a kind of bubble tea bar, but it's not bubble tea, actually it's just tea. And uh, a little product before, but what is the try? Just, uh, Take away tea. I have pretty good menu with a lot of selection. You can just choose natural tea, and add, add sugar or not, not add sugar. We just order the two iced tea. One tea is just uh, something booming like rosy color. Try not simple, but I think it's just with the water. It's super strong enough for my taste. 
white or long with milk. Still not a cup of tea, but uh, drinkable. So all the content of tea is quite good. Yeah, but uh, still, of course, it's uncomparable with the real tea, which we like. So we arrived to a place, a place called San Bay Tap Tea Room. Interesting concept, they have a selection of mostly Ulun and red teas, actually seven types, not so much, and uh, they prepare eight types, eight types. This is a menu, you can have McLaurin, so Ulun Duck Tea, Dark Roast Tea, Dark Black Tea, Taiwanese Ulun, Four Seasons, City Chewing, Probably Black. And they prepare tea with a good machine. Take the fresh leaves, grind them, and we use coffee machine to prepare. The same actually what we do in our tea bars. You can even take some tea wine if you want. And here is the epoxy tea. <laughs> epoxy tea. I don't know where it's from, maybe it's for just a menu or for payment, but it's organized somehow. So we're trying the tea. The tea is good. Tea is really good, good quality, so it's really natural, good quality Taiwanese tea, brewed through coffee machine. They can add sugar if you like, or ice, but if you just order good tea, you can have good tea. That's, I think, very good evolution of all this bubble tea crap, sorry. And also we have popcorn with Oriental Beauty alone, and some cake, which is not tea related, but so, also they have tea alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, I'm gonna drink a little bit, just also because we need to try, especially for try. So she kind of sacrificing herself to alcohol. <laughs> this is kind of tea shot. Some liqueurs. Some liqueurs. But they have a nice presentation. Yeah. Concept-wise, I think it's not will be not my cup of tea actually in general because yeah, good design, kind of elegant, minimal, but stupid pop music, Big videos, uh, some alcohol, alcohol bar, maybe maybe just to attract some youngsters who possibly will be part of the tea culture later, but not my type of place. Again, some tea bar or something like so and actually very good entrance group and it looks like it just was built pretty recently because the place looks completely new from a fruity tea and night tea so it's uh, milk tea corn tea whom uh, you it's a uh, uh, ruby black tea uh, a bit of milk also some fruity so it's many many drinks actually tea drinks Uh, black tea and oolong tea. Mm -hmm. uh, you can mix your favorite flavor. Ah. Yes. Mingxiang. Ah, Mingxiang. Black tea uh, mix lychee. Uh, lychee. Ah, lychee. Oh, lychee, yeah. lychee black tea. Oh, lychee syrup. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank Very welcoming uh, stuff. The lady just give us a try some tea and tell some story about the place. Uh, they. The main thing you can also drink natural tea or you can add some sugar or you can add some syrup or some fruits whatever you like and you can just but you also can they also can brew for you natural good tea without anything this is the best so on your choice you can add something or not and this is i think one of the good topics about uh taijun tea culture what i found because in each place we try they you can also choose but the best tea for now we tried in last place it was really sweet here is good but i don't know maybe we need to try more but in general good concept one more bubble tea bar i especially stopped just because of the design because it's called slow black tea which is quite specific because literally in taiwan and mainland china mostly local people drink 
kind of green tinge something but you can also create your own menu uh, you can screenshot this if you want to look for more details and this is their kind of best sellers Teguanin with uh, a smart Especially like this design. Just the tea. <laughs> and more tea and more tea. Yeah. Cool concept. So this is the house, actually traditional one. We need to move our shoes outside and uh, we will, I ordered to drink some AGT, Lausha. And uh, yeah, this is, we have kind of small shop. Also, go Japanese cups, something else, some chaha, some teapots, also ginseng and mother. Beautiful table, some small teapots. So we finished our review on Taijun tea house. Actually, we visited only one <laughs> real tea house. It was the last one. Other ones was mostly like tea bars, bubble tea, something. With a good tea still, but yeah, it's not the environment I like. Uh, the last one was really special. It's very cozy, small home tea house because he also live in the same uh, house. The first floor is very typical actually for Asia. First floor is his business, the tea house. And the second floor he leaves. Uh, I ask for AGT for Lao Cha because I'm a big fan of Lao Cha. I say, yeah, I need to drive one and a half hour after, so please give me something energizing and also very special and also with special taste. And he provided me uh, aged uh, Lugu Ulung. Uh, this was uh, Mutan Bay. Mutan Bay it means that it was uh, baked on charcoal, fruit tree charcoal, actually for good quality aged. Ulum. It's best ones you need to have a special charcoal, not just uh, on electric uh, bake, uh, electric baking, how we see in, uh, for example, some other places. But traditional one is on real charcoal from fruit trees. So this tea is still, I still feel aftertaste. Very, very delicate Lao Cha, aged tea for 30 years aged, uh, and uh, from Shifu, from Master Home make it uh, already more than 60 years he is now 86 imagine that's for a good wipe so sometimes it's very <laughs> strange for me pay for tea because actually i regularly have tea for free all the time because people want introduce me their tea if i can buy it but here i just experience some how do people serve tea if you pay for tea it's also kind of different uh, experience so yeah i was impressed it's good tea, good master, I enjoyed.